Hey guys, it's Cassandra and welcome to my channel, Create with Cassandra. Today's video is all about spring and Easter tablescapes. If you've watched any of my previous seasonal videos, then you know that I like to start my tablescapes with just a table full of all of the elements and supplies that I think I may want to use for each of my tablescapes. I then like to group everything together into specific themes. The goal of my tablescapes is to be able to create something that everyone likes while using things that I already have. So I usually have a tablescape that features natural neutral tones with greenery and then I do a tablescape that is more modern traditional followed by a tablescape that has more glitz and glam for my gold lovers. Since the holiday featured in this video is going to be Easter, I also added on two faith-based or Christ-centered tablescapes as well. So there will be five as opposed to the usual three that I do. And with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so here is my first tablescape, and as you can see, it features naturals and neutrals as well as some greenery with browns and creams included as well. I wanted to create a simple look that clearly incorporated the holiday at the same time. To create this look, I started with some stems of greenery that I already had and placed on top of them some robin's eggs nests. Then I added these ceramic containers that I already had that really reminded me of spring and I added carrots to them. I thought that that would be perfect for the look. I then placed a rabbit on top of some books I covered in linen and some wooden eggs. For my place settings, I used plates and napkins that I already owned and have used in previous seasonal videos, but I decided to make these cute bunny napkin rings to make it specific to this holiday. And in the next slides, I'll quickly show you how I made them in case you wanna make some of your own or something similar. I already had these adhesive wood shapes from the Target Dollar Spot and I thought that they would be perfect to use to make napkin rings. For the ring part of the napkin rings, I picked up this six pack of plastic silver napkin rings from the Dollar Tree. I then painted them this khaki color so that they would match my theme better. And here is what they look like, the finished product attached. You can easily super glue these together, but since the wood shapes were already adhesive, I just stuck them to the napkin ring. As a final addition, I did add my family's names to the napkin rings, and this would be a good idea if you're expecting to have family over for Easter or if you're having an Easter brunch at your house. Another option if you don't want to use these as napkin rings would be to just sit them on top of the plate. They still have the ring on the back so they would be able to stand on their own and everyone would still be able to use them and know where they are supposed to sit. I'm happy with how these came out and as you can see they were so simple to make. Let's move on to our next tablescape. This is my modern traditional tablescape and with this one I like to have more of an over the top centerpiece with modern colors such as blacks and grays while still incorporating the traditional elements of the season. For my centerpiece I used the same greenery from my first tablescape and added some metal gray carrots to the center. And then for the bottom, I placed some black rocks with gray robin's eggs on top. 
For my place settings, I kept that same theme and used my black plates as well as some gray bowls that I had and added some moss that I got from the Dollar Tree as well as more of my gray robin's eggs. Each holiday, I have to also incorporate a tablescape for my glitz and glam lovers, and this holiday was no different. Even though I don't own many gold things as far as the holidays go, I did have a few things, so I used what I had to create this tablescape. For this theme, I wanted to create sort of a messy bird nest type of look, so I used all of the gold stems that I had from Christmas and I spread those over my white fur runner. I then added some eggs as well as the same metal carriage that I used in my previous tablescape and spray painted all of it gold. Spray paint is always a quick fix to get items the color that you need them. For my place settings, I wanted to continue the glitz glam upscale look by simply adding some white plates that I already had, a white napkin that I rolled into some bunny ears, and added a golden egg. This look was simple and affordable while still being glamorous. I could not complete this video about Easter tablescapes without including two tablescapes that were Christ-centered. This is my first one, which is called Worthy is the Lamb, and it is my take on one of the most popular themes that we see during Easter. For my runner, I used a burlap runner that I already had and used my Cricut to add my favorite lamb scripture to it. It says, worthy is the lamb, they will make war against the lamb, but the lamb will triumph over him because he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And with him will be his called, chosen, and faithful followers. Revelation 17, 14. In keeping with the theme, I used some white plates already had with my napkins and covered by these beautiful lamb plates that I got a couple of years ago from the spring shop at Hobby Lobby. I love these plates. They were so beautiful when I saw them and I just knew that they would be perfect to use for Easter. This is my second Easter tablescape and it will be featuring another very popular theme which is He is Risen. This will be my take on that. I decided to use my same burlap runner and place my He is Risen theme on the other side so that it was reversible. That way if you wanted to use one side for one Easter, you can use the other side for the following Easter. It says He is Risen, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even if they die, John 11, 25. For my place settings, I really wanted to tell the story of the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ. When I saw these round discs, I immediately thought of the crown of thorns and decided to use them for my charger plates. John 19, 1 and 2 says, Pilate then took Yeshua and had him flogged. The soldiers twisted thorn branches into a crown and placed it on his head. Next, on top of that, I placed these plates that I have from Hearth and Hand that are stoneware. I knew that these would be perfect because they're not completely round and they have imperfections. They remind me of the imperfections that Jesus died for for us. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, God made this sinless man be a sin offering on our behalf, so that in union with him we might fully share in God's righteousness. Lastly, I added these linen napkins. I knew that they would be a perfect final touch. 
John 1940 says that Joshua took Yeshua's body as after he was crucified and wrapped it up in linen sheets with spices. If you are having family over for the holiday, these place settings would be a great way to tell them where they are to be seated as well as to remind them of the reason for the holiday, which is that Jesus rose for each of us. To make these was simple, I just took some crinkle construction paper and printed out the names of each of the family members in order to make the crucifixion personal for each of them. Okay guys, so that's all of them. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite. Your voice is saying now